Hi, in this video I will show you how to solve best time to buy and sell stock. So the question says, given an array prices, so in here there are some sort of prices, in this case it is 7153641 for example 1, where prices i, that's the index, is the price of a given day. So this is at day 0, this is at day 1, this is at day 2, this is at day 3, and the likes. You want to maximize your profit by choosing a single day to buy one stock and choose a different day to sell the stock. So first you have to buy some stock and then you have to sell the stock. So obviously you cannot sell before you buy. So return the maximum profit you can achieve from the transaction. Here the solution is to buy on day 1 and sell on day 5. Note that buying on day 2 and selling on day 1 is not allowed, obviously, because you must buy before you sell. Okay, let's see how we can solve this question. So the first thing I want to think about is my variables. I need to track what is my current profit, and I want to also track what is the minimum price that I have found. And I need to keep in mind that whatever I buy in now, if I find a cheaper price the next day, I have to change that so I can buy it at a cheaper price. And if I find a selling day where it has um, a higher price than what I have bought in, then I cannot switch those values. So as it says here, that buying on day two and selling on day one is not allowed. So let's 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 write down my variables. So the first thing, my uh, my max my max my max profit is zero, because this is your current profit at the moment. You haven't bought, you haven't sold anything, and this is your profit. This is your max profit. And as you want as you go through, you want to update this max profit to contain the max profit you will make. So we can already say that what you will return is this max profit and it's this variable that we have to sort of like play with. So we can iterate by saying um, for, let's call this for price and prices. So you're gonna iterate through seven and basically you wanna, you wanna get, compare it with the current minimum price you have. So that's another variable we should create. We should create another variable called minimum min price which you have right now and let's set that to float inf which basically means an infinite number quadrillion quadrillion something but that doesn't matter so in our first iteration we want to update this min price to either be whatever the price is or the min price here so in the first iteration the min price is this huge float inf and the price is 7. So min price on the first round will be updated to 7. Now that you know it's 7, you want to check if this is um, highly profitable or not in comparison to what you already have. So if you look at your profit, what you're going to do is you're going to take this price and subtract it by the min price. Obviously, in the first iteration, it will be zero. So because you can't buy or sell in the first iteration. So it will make more sense when we go through this in the second iteration. So here, you're going to subtract the price by the min price, and then you will have your profit. And then you want to update your variable max profit by either saying, hey, is my current value, which is zero, higher, or my new value from here is higher, which is also zero. So in this case, this won't update. Now let's look at the second iteration. We have one. So one is going to come here. And the min price you had is actually seven. So the output of this min price would be one. Right? So now your new min price is one. And the price that you already got is one. So the profit is still zero. You haven't bought, you haven't sold, but now you know that the minimum price you can buy in is one. So again, this will be zero. In the third iteration, you, you get five. So this would be five, but your min price in this case is one, right? So your minimum price will stay as one because you know this is the best time to buy. 
Now here it becomes your minimum price is one, but since we iterated to five, so five minus one will be four. So your profit is four if you buy at one and sell at five. And now this will compare. So your max profit originally was zero, but now your profit is four. Therefore your max profit now has been updated to four. Okay, now let's do one more iteration so it's super clear. So now I know my max profit is four. The next value here is three. So the current price is three. My minimum price that I had before is one. So this will stay the same and nothing will change here. Now let's go to the next iteration which is six. So my current price is six, but the minimum price is one, so nothing will change. However, right here, it will be six minus one. That is the price of now. And one was the minimum price I had from day one. And here the profit would be five. My old value is four compared with five. So the new max profit is five. Therefore, my answer will be five. I hope you've learned something from this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.